Ugh. I just have to accept that this is what my life is. And it's never going to change. Hello everybody, my name is Shio Kami. I haven't seen you in a hot minute, but that's okay. Cause I'm back and I'm alive! This is just something I was thinking about at random the other day. And I was like, you know what? Let's make that a video. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 things that grind my gears at a convention. Let's roll ourselves into this burrito of chaos. Can you tell I didn't script anything? <laughs> Number one, people who cut in line. It doesn't matter what kind of line. It could be badge pickup line, pre-reg line, the line to use the bathroom, I don't care. People who cut in line. I have no tolerance for people who cut in line. Oh my God, if you cut in front of me and I've been waiting there patiently, minding my own business, I'm going to chop your legs off. Like, why would you do that to somebody? Why would you hinder all of these poor people behind you because you can't wait your turn? Number two. This is a very common thing. Not a lot of people like this one, but I just thought I'd share it with you anyway. Touching people without permission. And that's a very common thing. I see it a lot. It doesn't even have to be like the person's body or like whatever. It could be their stuff, their fursuit, their, their badge. I don't know. Just like don't touch other people's things or their person without their permission. Do you, I, I understand I'm dressed as a giant purple dog, but please do not touch my fursuit without asking me. That includes booping my nose, grabbing my tongue, petting my ears, whatever the fuck else. Please do not without asking me first. Number three, this is something I've said before and I will say it as many times as it needs to be said, tail pulling. I don't care who you are, what you're doing, or why. You do not pull on my tail. That is so not okay. You don't just, oh my God. Ugh. The amount of times I've had my tail pulled at a convention is unfathomable. And if you so much as come near my butt region, I'm gonna just be like, whoa, hey man, you better look out. Don't you come near me. I know what you're gonna do. I know your tricks. Just please don't pull my tail. It has to be the most like anxiety inducing thing on this planet. <laughs> Number four, this happens a lot too. It hasn't happened to me a bunch. It's probably only happened to me like twice. Being followed. If somebody's following me around a convention, it doesn't creep me out. It makes me angry because I'm trying to enjoy the convention without you. So please do not follow me. I'm trying to have my own personal time, my own kind of fun at this con. And if you're following me, it's gonna make me extremely upset. <laughs> There's a difference between like a five or 10 minute walk like down the hallway or through the con space. Maybe that's just a coincidence. Maybe we're just going to the same place, no big deal. But if you're following me for a good 45 minutes, an hour plus, I'm not dumb. I know what you're doing. Don't do that. Oh, I can breathe. <sighs> One of these days, I'm going to, oh, fuck, I'm gonna die in my fursuit. <laughs> because my mouth doesn't open itself wide enough <laughs> to actually breathe. <laughs> I have to open my mouth like this in order to like have air. <laughs> Number five. I only have four fingers. Oh God, you hear that so often. I wonder why. <laughs> People doing something when they were specifically told not to do it. And that doesn't even have to be like at a convention. That could just be like out in the world, out and about, you know, whatever, doing, 
doing your grocery shopping or walking your dog or whatever. If you come up to me and you ask me, hey, do you mind if I blah, 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 and I say no, and you continue to do so anyway, I, oh my God, I will hate you forever. Like, what makes you think that's okay? What makes you think when I say, no, could you not, please don't do that, actually, could, do you mind, that's not okay, and then you do it anyway? Why would you do that? Like, it, it hurts my brain just to even think about why somebody would do that when they were specifically told not to do that. That has to be the fastest way to upset me anywhere at any time. Just like, just be respectful and listen to people. Just don't touch or do anything. If they just, if they tell you not to do it, just don't. Number six, I haven't seen this personally, but I heard it's an issue. Sneaking in to the headless lounge when you are not a fursuiter. I don't care who you are, what you're doing, who you're with, and why you think that's cool, but that's not cool. I personally, look, I don't care if you know what I look like, you've seen me in past videos, you all know what I look like. I'm disgusting. But there are other people at the con who prefer not to be seen without their fursuit on. So could you like not do that? That would be fantastic. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Number seven, people who stand in the middle of the hallway blocking everybody from getting by. I don't know how many times, I don't know how many times I've had to experience this firsthand and every time it makes me angry that I am trying to get somewhere and this person or persons, maybe it's a, a, a dude and his group of buddies just hanging out like, oh, da, 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 da. yeah, that was so funny. Oh, that was great. I love when you did that. Like, oh my God, you know, whatever, basic friend, whatever. And I'm trying to get by and I'm trying to make it very obvious that I'm trying to get by and they don't move. It, it, it has to come to a point where I actually have to physically touch them like oh hey excuse me do you mind I have to get by it it has to take me to that point where I have to physically touch somebody in order to get their attention and have them move there are places to sit there are places for you to be that are not in the middle of the hallway so please do not stand there number eight a very common and disgusting occurrence People leaving their trash around the hotel or con space. I'm sorry, do you think you just get like a magic I can leave my trash anywhere pass? Who are you that you think you can just leave your garbage laying around the convention or hotel space? What's wrong with you? Talk about disrespectful. Like, why would you do that? Like, that has to be the fastest way. A hotel will never take us back for a convention next year, is if we leave their hotel disgusting and dirty and full of our garbage. So, I don't know about you, but I love going to conventions every year. I love being able to just pack all my shit, throw it in the car, and go. But that's not gonna happen if the hotel said, you guys are dirty, don't come back. I'm very hot. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. It's like 80 degrees in here, and I'm wearing a sweater, and this fucking dumb, dinky little fursuit. I'm dying, please give me a moment. Number nine. This is something I see too often, and it irks me every time. People being extremely loud or obnoxious on purpose. There's a difference between somebody who doesn't know how loud they're being or how obnoxious they're being until you go, oh, hey man, do you mind just like toning it down like a skosh, like, hey. And somebody who's like screaming at the top of their lungs, you know, poking fursuiters, running around and throwing shit all over the place because they want attention. 
That's like very inappropriate. That's very rude and like, what, what, what? Number 10, something I have seen hundreds of times, too many of times. People publicly exploiting their kinks or bedroom stuff. And that means like people dressed up in their full like horseplay leather gear or like half naked in their whatevers. Oh my God. Especially if it's at a family friendly or PG-13 con and you're publicly displaying your stuff in the con space. That's not okay. These kids, these families do not need to see you in your horseplay gear. That's disgusting. You keep your bedroom stuff in the bedroom, period. Okay, well, that's it for this video because I'm gonna die, my camera's gonna die, I'm about to have a heat stroke. <laughs> Did you guys agree what was on my list? Did you guys experience any of these things? <laughs> Maybe you have some stuff that I left out. Maybe you guys are like, nah, that one's okay. I don't mind that one very much. Let me know. And with that said, we just hit 9,000 subscribers. 1,000 more for 10,000, yes! And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh my God, my leg. Ugh. Lord, please just kill me.